Hello, and welcome to the third portion of the tutorial. Um, in this portion, we're going to go ahead and group the cubes that are for each individual set of colors, and we're going to go ahead and color them. Um, let's see how quick I can do it, possibly make this the last portion of the uh, tutorial. If so, um, that'd be good times. Um, first thing we're going to do, since we're going to be working in the front view, we want to move the Mega Man image to the left a little more. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back toward the channel box where we have the Mega Man image, turn off reference, then go ahead and highlight it. Click on Image Plane, scroll down to Center X, and just scroll it off to the right. You don't have to push it really far. It's just enough for it to not be obstructing the rest of the figure, just so you know what pixels are going to be which color. Um, when you're done with that, go ahead and uh, reference it again. Put it back to R. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start with the black first. Um, but before we do that, actually, um, we're going to open up the hypershade. I have a quick link for it right here. But uh, for those of you who don't, go ahead and click on your window. Go to Rendering, Editors, and pull up Hypershade. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get at least the black color going. So make sure you got the mental, or the Maya regular nodes, not the mental ray. And we're going to go ahead and make a Lambert. Double click on it. Click on the color. Go ahead and make it black. If you want, go ahead and name it Border or whatever. I'm not going to bother with it just because it's pretty self-explanatory what colors are going to go where. So let's go ahead and start highlighting every single one that is black. All these ones down here, to here, top, those, these three, I yeah, apologize for the silence, just trying to concentrate. Or not really concentrate, but there really isn't much to say at this point. I mean, I can repeatedly say, click this one, and click this one, and go ahead and click these right here. And after you're done clicking those, click these four right above it. And these two. And yeah, that sounds uh, pretty silly. So, uh... I'll just refrain from that. Looks like we just about got the black taken care of. From what I can see, that looks like all of it. So let's go ahead and right up here I have a combine button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. If you don't, go ahead and just go up to mesh and hit combine. It'll do the same thing. Now, if we click on any one of those, it'll select all of them. Now with the hypershade open, go ahead and middle mouse click onto any one of those and you'll see it highlights all of them. Beautiful. Next color we're going to work on is the basic blue. So let's go ahead and make another Lambert. Double click. Go into the color. It's not going to be a really dark blue, it's actually a little lighter than that. So let's go ahead and lighten that up. Yeah, we'll 
let's go with that. Now let's go ahead and uh, get the next set. I was mentioning earlier in the first episode, or the first part of the tutorial, you can uh, make a bunch of different 8-bit characters, and how I uh, found some Street Fighter 8-bit uh, characters. I ended up making a little Ryu and Ken, and uh, it only shows them in like a standing up pose, nothing too extravagant, um, but I wanted to try to get them looking like they were fighting with each other, so I... Uh, you know, just goofed around with my graph paper and uh, moved some of the pixels around. And I got it to make it look like uh, Ryu and Ken actually threw fireballs at each other and it actually came out pretty nice. So, uh, you know, if you want to tinker around with some stuff, maybe actually even make an animation of these guys doing stuff. Um, it's always something to try out. You know, that's what's cool about Maya. You can do just about anything you want. You can go ahead and experiment and have fun in the process. You know, it's all about having fun in the long run anyways. Alright, looks like those are all the blues. Let's go ahead and combine those. Pull up your hyper shade again. Middle mouse click. And there's all the blue. And it's coming out pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and pull up a hyper shade again. Let's do the light blue. I'll pull up another Lambert color. Let's just go with that little light blue right there. Go ahead and accept. Minimize. Now let's go get these. And, uh, you know, like I said at the beginning, which I'm pretty sure everyone's already doing by now, Make sure you're holding shift when you uh, select all these. And you'll just be finding yourself having a lot of problems. Well, not problems, but it'll just be a more of a time-consuming process. And again, maybe there's an easier way and quicker way to highlight all these guys. But, eh, like I said, this is something I've just recently been working on, so, you know, I haven't perfected it or anything. Alright, we got all those. Go ahead and combine pull up the hyper shade again middle mouse click onto one of them there's the light blue let's go ahead and get the uh, white and the tan let's go ahead and click U U U U U U yep, there I go with the U's combine those go ahead and pull your hyper shade back up Let's go ahead and make another Lambert. Um, let's go ahead and just click on yellow, middle mouse drag. Oh, let me move this out of the way. Middle mouse drag on one of those. And we're not going to obviously leave it yellow. It's just good to have it right there as a reference. So let's go ahead and drop it down. And we want like a peachish looking. You know what? We'll just go with that. Right there looks fine. Just toggle that slider down a little bit and let's just uh, finish up the last portion. Grab all of these. Combine. One more Lambert. White. Drag it on. Accept. Close. And we have our own Mega Man. Now you can go ahead and render this any way you want. Um, 
uh, apply any material material you want if you wanted to go ahead and put some Maya material X passes or some car paint or whatever to give it a reflectiveness. Me, I just stick with Lambert. But uh, yeah, there's your Mega Man right there. Um, very quick, easy to do. Um, after you follow the technique I just showed you. Um, from there, you can go ahead and make a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, let's see if we open up. You know, I got a little. What do we got here? Little Mario. Let's see. Really quick, I'll open up my. Uh, I think I got a. Here's my little Ryu throwing a fireball. Even though he doesn't have the fireball. That's the one I was mentioning I did on my uh, graph paper and made all by myself. So, um, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, hopefully, maybe you learned uh, some things with it. And, uh, yeah. Um, take it easy.